This is breaking from the Federal High Court, Abuja. Court denies Mazen Namdekano bill. Today is the 19th day of March 2024. The Federal High Court in Abuja on Tuesday rejected the bill application by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano. The trial judge, Justice Benta Nyako, however, granted an accelerated hearing instead. Counsel for the IPOB leader and lawyer Ijimako had at the last adjourned date urged the court to admit Kano to bail before the commencement of the trial. Ijimako stated that Kano's health condition was deteriorating, adding that his continued detention by the DSS was a threat to his life. Ijimako also argued that the continued incarceration of Kano would not enable him to put up a good defense in the matter. But the counsel for the federal government, Adegbayega, or Womondo Senior Advocate of Nigeria, urged the court to dismiss the bill application and instead grant an accelerated hearing. He noted that the DSS has a medical facility that could take care of him. Owomondo also accused Kano of once jumping bail, adding that he failed to declare on oath in the affidavit filed by his lawyer that if granted bail, he wouldn't jump bail. He was earlier granted bail on health grounds on April 25, 2017, after spending 18 months in detention, but he fled the country after an invasion of his residence by the military in September 2017. When you see rabbit in the afternoon, there is something pursuing it. So many Nigerians don't know what is coming. Almost 95% of Nigerians are already tired of this system. Everyone wants a brand new country or a different country entirely. This is a rabbit in the afternoon. The senior advocate of Nigeria, Dr. Onise Agbakoba, has taken a stand on what he thinks and believes about Nigeria's existence. And this is the stand of so many Nigerians. Yeah, uh, democracy or no democracy, we have suffered enough. Uh, uh, we have suffered enough in this country. Yeah. Uh, how uh, can I pay my driver one hundred thousand? No, please listen to me. How can I pay my driver one hundred thousand for him to buy rice of sixty k? Because we have people in Abuja stuffing all our money. The nonsense must stop. The nonsense must stop. And the president of Nigeria must be the person to lead this crusade in the context of a constitutional process. That is what I'm saying to you. Yeah. Why are you laughing? What is Nandekano doing in jail? I've told Mr. President and uh, President um, Ababio, and I was happy that the National Secretary Advisor was present, we are not going to win the insurgency by military solution. You, Sambo, very well experienced, I know you very well. You know how much the government has devoted in terms of budgeting to the military. What we see is money goes to the military, it is misused, the, 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 the service chiefs are sacked, new ones come in, and it goes on and on. But no solution. We are not going to win the insurgency war by military option. We are going to win the problem of insurgency and insecurity by discussion. Namde Kano has no reason to be in jail. The guys in Lagos, Ibadan, or Northwest, or wherever, you've got to call them to a peace meeting and resolve this problem. You can't beat these guys with, with arms. If you think you're going to shoot these people out, then look at what America did in Vietnam and lost. Look at all the wars. Look at Che Guevara's war. Irregular war, but he won in Bolivia. Look at uh, the, what happened uh, in, uh, in Cuba. So the first point I want to make is the military solution to Nigeria's problem will fail. The first thing is to say, what's the constitution? If, for instance, me and my wife Lillian don't agree in our marriage of 45 years, then we can't do anything. So the first thing that President Tidbo would need to do is to ensure that Nigerians all agree to be one country. You recall that uh, Bolaige asked those two questions. Do we want to be one? It's not by force. If we want to be one, how? We haven't answered those questions. Which is why I told President 
a baby of the Senate, that it has taken 23 years to solve the problem of the Constitution. And I urged him, in conjunction with President Tinubu, to resolve the Nigerian constitutional question now by inviting the owners of Nigeria. The owners of Nigeria, mark you, were those who owned Nigeria before Lugard brought his amalgamation in 1914. Call them in. These are the people who own the country and ask them questions. What do you want to see of the constitution? Because without a constitution, we're going nowhere. And no one will doubt the fact that the constitution bequeathed by the military in 1999 is unsatisfactory. That's the key. If we resolve the constitution and agree what we want to do, and that agreement may be we want to go to pieces. There's nothing wrong with that. But I would prefer personally that we agree to be one country because I like a big country like Nigeria. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm not, I was an activist several years ago. 29 years and 71 years is a very long time. So Sambo, do not think I haven't grown in all these years. Of course I've matured. I have more, I have more wisdom than when I was 29. So I cannot be talking about you know, using, uh, going to the streets and fighting. I'm, a, I'm an older man. So wisdom comes to the table. I'm a wise man today. So I will use my wisdom to advise my younger people on the streets that this is the way to go. We all accept the parliamentary sovereignty of the National Assembly. What we quarrel with is that they are too slow, too slow in resolving Nigeria's constitutional arrangements. I don't think you'll have any problem with that, Sambo. I'm simply saying the National Assembly should conclude constitutional discussions. That's what I'm saying. I didn't mention discard the constitution. There's a constitution that we have. Unfortunately, Nigerians haven't bought into it. But we have a sovereign parliament that can assist the process. They can call the traditional rulers, they can call Afeni Fere, Pandef and all that to say, what are your views? So I accept, personally I accept the authority of the National Assembly in constitution making. What I don't accept is the fact that they are taking too much time. I'm sure you will agree that 23 years to resolve our constitution is far too long. I've told Mr. President and uh, President um, Akbabio, and I was happy that the National Secretary Advisor was present, we are not going to win the insurgency by military solution. You, Sambo, very well experienced, I know you very well, you know how much the government has devoted in terms of budgeting to the military. What we see is money goes to the military, it is misused, the, 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 the service chiefs are sacked, new ones come in, and it goes on and on. But no solution. We are not going to win the insurgency war by military option. We are going to win the problem of insurgency and insecurity by discussion. Namde Kano has no reason to be in jail. The guys in Lagos, Ibadan, or Northwest, or wherever, you've got to call them to a peace meeting and resolve this problem. If you think you're going to shoot these people out, then look at what America did in Vietnam and lost. Look at all the wars. Look at Che Guevara's war. Irregular war, but he won in Bolivia. Look at uh, the, what happened uh, in, uh, in Cuba. So the first point I want to make is the military solution to Nigeria's problem will fail. It's going to, how many years now since Jonathan? It's going to about 10 years. We spent billions no results. So why can't we try something new? Just for the heck of it, because when our choir is saying it, try something new. Bring in people who own Nigeria and say, how can we resolve this problem? You will see a difference. That is the first important point I'd like to make. Let us forget the issue of using military solution to resolve this insurgency conflict. It will not work. I say this because in 1980, I studied counterinsurgency 
in SOAS, which is a school in the University of uh, London Systems. And I studied over 100 wars over the last 500 years. Not one single war was won when fighting irregular people. Mao Zedong won his war in China by, f by using irregular tools. So you can't beat these guys with, with arms. You know, Sambo, that Nigeria has poured a lot of money into this war. Why are they not winning? What's the reason they're not winning? Tell me. So let's try something new. And what I'm offering is dialogue. <laughs> What is Namde? Why are you laughing? What is Namde Kano doing in jail? Uh, uh, democracy or not democracy, we have suffered enough. Uh, uh, we have suffered enough in this country. Yeah. Uh, how uh, can I pay my driver one hundred thousand? No, please listen to me. How can I pay my driver one hundred thousand for him to buy rice of sixty k? Because we have people in Abuja chopping all our money. The nonsense must stop. The nonsense must stop. And the president of Nigeria must be the person to lead this crusade in the context of a constitutional process. That is what I'm saying to you. Yeah.